my friends, it's finally happening. Ethan Ralph is in the nation of Portugal and is currently epically owning Andy Worski as we speak. Now you must be wondering to yourself, what did Mr. Ralph do all day during his little trip to Portugal? Well, he did some sightseeing, took a couple pictures of uh, some statues and some nice buildings and poles in front of a wall. But uh, you really can't do much in Portugal uh, during this little pandemic, especially if you're not uh, vaccinated or you're not wearing a mask. Don't worry, though. Ethan Rao found a way to have some fun. Because you see, my friends, Ethan Ralph decided... That since he's unvaccinated, he really can't do much in Portugal. He's gonna go right on ahead and, uh, go to fucking Burger King. Because that's what you do when you're in another country, on another continent. You go to a fast food joint that you can just as easily access back home. I would just like to remind everyone that Ethan Ralph spent about, I want to say, $1,000 for his trip to Portugal. And the most he's done is, like, go to fucking Burger King. Keep in mind, this is old, own Andy Worski. A man that's been to Portugal 13 times. Now, there's also a lot of speculations as to what else Ethan Ralph might be getting up to since he's going to be in Portugal. Uh, the age of consent in the nation of Portugal is 14 years old, and prostitution is legal there, from what I keep hearing. So, there's been a lot of speculation saying that Ethan Rowell's going to be hooking up with some 14-year-old uh, cheap hookers while he's uh, staying there in the nation of Portugal. And as fucking degenerate as that sounds, it's the fucking, it's legal to do it. It may be fucked up, but it's legal there, so there's really nothing we can do there. But, uh, it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, because I don't know if you've been living under a rock the past couple days, maybe a week or so, but it sounds like World War Three is right around the fucking corner. This might just be one of, if not the last video I make during peacetime. Before everything goes to shit. You got Putin getting ready to pounce on Ukraine. You got a bunch of European nations sending over arms to Ukraine. Biden has no idea what he's doing. I'm surprised he even remembers what day it is. You got China looking at Taiwan, getting ready to pounce on it while the rest of the world is distracted with what's going on in Europe. And aside from that, it looks like there's shit going on in the Middle East again. Because for some reason, the United Arab Emirates has, uh, been getting some missiles launched at them. By who, we don't know. But there is a video going around the internet of uh, the UAE fending off a missile attack from some nations. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. It looks like the uh, this coming week's gonna be very eventful. But hey, at least we got <laughs> Ethan Ralph stumbling around Portugal <laughs> like there's no fucking tomorrow. I would actually love to be a Portuguese citizen. Like, imagine you're a Portuguese citizen, you know, and you're out there. You know, doing something. Let's say you're getting a cup of coffee. And anyway, as you're getting your cup of coffee and you're coming back to your car or going to go see your wife or whoever, <laughs> you see this morbidly obese dwarf <laughs> talking to his fucking little phone there screaming about how he's going to own Worski and the A-Logs. <laughs> How after that, he's going to be traveling to Serbia to kidnap Joshua Carter Moon so he can prove to the world that his dick is indeed broken. Uh, you know, I said it once and I'll say it again. I am very happy that Ethan Ralph is not in jail right now. Because holy shit, I am enjoying Ethan Ralph's fucking time in Lisbon, Portugal. 
Such a shame that this is gonna end with World War III kicking off, but hey, what are you gonna do, you know? We've had a good run as a species. We've had our ups and we've certainly had our lows, but we've had a good run. But now it's time to live in the Fallout IRL edition, so uh, yeah, it's been fun. Anyway, hopefully this, I'll catch you guys in another video, uh, assuming of course I don't get fucking drafted into the U.S. Army or anything. Anyway, catch you guys later.